What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all, is having a blessed Saturday morning, bro. Today is release day, Saturday. One of the, my favorite shoes of the year. Y'all know I'm outside, so airplanes will be overhead. Uh, but anyway, man, like one of my most anticipated sneakers of the year dropped today. I got it early, and um, it's the Air Jordan 7 Chambray. We're going to do a quick on feet because today is the release of the sneaker. They dropped this morning. Retail price is going to be $200. I feel like they're going to sit, and on a, on a Saturday like this, bro, I usually go ahead and go to the mall and show the shoes sitting and stuff like that. But seeing, seeing that I've been giving y'all mall vlogs and... Uh, boutique vlogs and stuff like that lately. I'm gonna go ahead and let that um, slide today and get y'all on feet of the actual shoe that's dropping. A real quick on feet, just one outfit, one pair of socks, whatever. But today I gotta show my other channel some love. I've been letting the other channel fall off, so me and the wife are gonna probably put up some content on that channel today, man. So y'all comment below and let me know if y'all going for these. I got them on feet already. Matter of fact, I ain't wanna take it off until I show them on feet, but I guess I can just talk about the shoe a little bit. Right here, I already got the shoe on. This is the first Air Jordan 7 that I've actually had to lace myself. Um, I, I don't recall them. I don't recall Jordan 7s coming unlaced back in the 90s. I think the only one I had when I was a kid, like as far as original, was the uh, Bordeaux. That was the only one I had. So um, anyway, this is the Air Jordan 7 Chambray, guys, right here. Y'all can comment below and let me know what y'all think. Like I said, in certain lighting, like I was telling y'all on my last review, when I did, when the sunlight was hitting them and stuff like that, and I did the review in the sneaker room and stuff like that, they look like they need some lotion. They look real ashy, but this is just a really thick uh, Durabuck or Nubuck, and it's a really good graded material that just happens to have when certain light hits it. It looks like that. It looks way darker out here in this light, but it's the same exact shoe I showed on the review. You know what I'm saying? But I, I love any kind of like UNC vibes and somebody told me it's not really UNC. Hey, any light powder blue, chambray, whatever, light blue is definitely going off the US, UNC vibes. That's why I rock the shirt today, you feel me? But anytime they do a UNC off of black, it just looks so dope to me. So dope to me and I, I, re, I regret. I don't have any, I don't have that many uh, sneaker sale regrets, but I do regret selling my Air Jordan 6 uh, UNCs, man. One thing I like about this shoe is the hits of gray. Oof. Hits of gray around the toe on the mountain peaks right there on the tongue. Y'all know I love Jordan 7 tongs and J Jordan 7 bottoms because that's the most unique part, unique part about Air Jordan 7s, man. So let me go and slide these back on feet. Y'all comment below if y'all going after these today. Like I said, in my opinion, they're going to sit. And I, I probably further down the line or down the week or something like that, I do a video of the shoes sitting in stores. Because like I said, I know they're going to sit. $200 for Air Jordan 7. I don't care what colorway they drop. Even the OGs. Like, I'm convinced at this point. Because not just Jordan 7s, but a lot of Jordan 1s sitting. You know what I'm saying? A lot of Jordan sitting, period. So, I'd be very surprised. I mean, it's no resale. We already know that answer to why they sit and people can't buy them in bulk and then resell them because there's no resale value so anyway i know y'all want to see these things on feet so let me let y'all go in here and check out the air jordan 7 chambray guys on feet man do it yes sir yes sir y'all gonna have to forgive the creaking of my dick man uh little creaky action going on but you know this is the air joint. Let's see that creek right there. I hear that creek. Anyway, doing the remix. This is the Air Jordan 7 chambray guys on feet. Man. What y'all thinking of them? Tell me what you're thinking of these guys, bro. I think they super clean, in my humble opinion. I think um it's just like one of my favorite shoes. We haven't gotten this shoe in a lot of years. I didn't honestly, people were saying when they gonna retro them, but I was like, I don't think they're going to retro them. I started to think they wasn't going to retro them, bro. But um, they retro everything, so I don't know why I was thinking that. Um, for a long time, though, your boy Rich was the only person that had a review of these up on YouTube. Of the, of the 2006 pair. I was the only person, so if you, go, if you look up Air Jordan 7 Chambray, my video was like the top video and the only on-feet video that came up. So shout out to my guy Vincent Artman right quick. Is the one that sent me that shoe for free. The original uh, Air Jordan 6, uh, 7 Chambray. 
sun away. What I'm supposed to do? I'm supposed to dance? I can't. I, mean, I know some people. They be just moving the whole time. Does that aggravate y'all when people just move the whole time? Or do y'all like it better when somebody just stand still so you can see the shoe? They might want to take a picture if they can do that though. One thing I like about these two is the blue is a lot deeper and you can tell it's blue. It was almost like a wash blue on the older ones. Some people might like that better, but I actually like, like I said in my original video, I like this one better than 2006. I like the materials better. I like the color better. It just pops better. I actually like the shape a whole lot better because it's more, it's more like the OG shape, the 1992 shape. You feel me? Anyway, slip walk away on the on the creek. You feel me? You feel me? I think this deserves some walk by action with the creek. I don't know, man. I might need to take this back to the driveway. So. Cross up, cross up with these. <laughs> Yeah, man, that's them right there, though. So y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think about these guys. The Air Jordan 7 Chambray things on feet. It's an ever so slight round view. I'm not good at this. Lot. There we go. Yeah. Round view. They go to the box. You know what I'm saying? Who copping this morning? I'm going to try to. I'm out here at like 8 o'clock in the morning trying my best to get them up before they actually drop. On Nike sneakers. But anyway, that was the on feet look of the Air Jordan 7 chambray things, man. Like I said, this shoe could have easily been an OG colorway. One of my favorite Jordan 7s. Another one of my favorite Jordan 7s drop. And that was the uh, Citrus 7s, man. Love that shoe. I copped that one back in 2006. I didn't get these in 2006 because, like I said, I won't even buy nowhere near as many Jordans as I buy. As I bought the last few years. I think 2016 and 17, 18, those are the biggest. I caught like almost every Jordan that dropped, especially Jordan 7s. I didn't let no Jordan 7 go uncopped because most of the colorways on Jordan 7s, most of them, not all of them, I liked. 2015, for some reason that year, they dropped crazy amount of Jordan 7. 2015, we had like Flint. Sevens, not flat sevens. Uh, the French blue sevens. We had um Bordeaux sevens. We had uh hair sevens dropped that year. We haven't had um Olympics in a in a while. What else dropped? We had like Barcelona days and nights. We had Marvin the Martians. We had so many Air Jordan sevens, and I I was like buying all of them. Shot. It was I can't think of too many Jordan sevens that dropped that I didn't get. And y'all gotta remember, back in 2015, they were selling out. Hairs was set. Hair sold out. Bordeaux sold out, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that was selling out. Um, it's a new day, it's a new age, and I think today, when these drop, you're gonna be able to just walk into your friendly neighborhood boutique, your friendly neighborhood mall or whatnot, and just buy a pair of these Air Jordan 7 Chambrays for retail. Now, them being $200 might have a little bit to do with the fact that you're gonna be able to easily cop them. They was what, 170, 160 or something like that back then in 2015, so, price of everything has went up we already know except for pay they don't want to get nobody no more money at these jobs but uh the price of shoe going up anyway y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think of these man i like i like the shoe i love these shoes man it's gonna be in my top 10 of the year hands down man i just i love the chambrays man off rip they probably would be even higher if i didn't already have a 2000 and uh uh sixes man they might they might still be pretty high man the more i look at them the more i'm like these are it you feel me so comment below if y'all going after them if you hate them all that good stuff in the comments below hit the thumbs up like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already hit that notification bell so you can become a part of rich nation stand all the way up to the moon on them i'm talking a little bit more quiet today because some neighbors are still asleep man so anyway keep watching my video because that's what i'm here for Gone. Call up the plug, hit me a lick. Early kids from Retro Rick. New air bubble like helium lift. So as to bless, thank God for the gift. Yeah, yeah, it's a hit. Premium fit. No barbecue, but this is it. Hold up, rock, rock, just might hit. With richest kicks, I mean my rich. Yeah, falling all the way to the moon on them. Space Jam going on the tune on them. Sweeping y'all haters, get the broom on them. New heat coming real soon on them. My rich fans, shout it, that's what I cop to give for. Thank you for watching these vids, that's what I'm here for. Gone all the way up to the moon on them. What's happening there, everybody? Yeah. Life so lighty daddy. Bless. Hit that Nike snow just like your girl hit Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Then we fly to Abu Dhabi. Then we gone straight up to the moon on them. Hey. Hey. To the moon.